Hello, I'm the Resident Cartographer, and this is Dead Space. That's right, it's not Fallout 76. Uh, don't worry, I'm not getting away from making stuff on Fallout 76. Uh, this is just something I'm going to be doing occasionally where I play a different game. Uh, in fact, I might play through the entire series of Dead Space. Uh, not contiguously. Uh, I'm going to be doing this, and then I'll go back to doing Fallout 76 videos, lore videos, surveil videos, quest videos, and such. Uh, but occasionally I do want to play some other games, and I figured I might as well record them, because I love Dead Space, it's one of my favorite games, and it's one of my favorite series, and believe it or not, I even like the third one, I know a lot of people don't, but I thought it was a great game, especially when you play it in co-op. Uh, the game originally came out back in October 2008, uh, I played it on the Xbox 360 originally, and then ended up buying it on uh, the PC, and I ended up playing uh, Dead Space 3, by myself first and then also co-op and got to see the crazy awesome stuff that they do when you're playing co-op where you see things that your partner's not as both you and your partner are going independently insane in your own way. It's <laughs> a really cool system. I just wish that Dead Space 3 had been better received and I get it completely. It, it definitely departed from the genre as it was. But I still enjoyed it in its own way. But we're here playing Dead Space 1. So I'm just going to start the game and uh, we'll play for a while. I'm not sure exactly how far in we're going to get. It's been a while since I played it, but I do generally remember most of the game. Uh, along with that, I have managed to uh, write down the old alphabet. I used to actually know the Unitology alphabet, which you can kind of see flashing across the bottom of the screen. Um, right down here. That's a uh, Unitology script right there. It's really just a stupidly simple code where it's one letter per letter, uh, with some rare exceptions where you got a double S and a TH and stuff like that. Um, but I have written that all down, so we should be able to translate it. And you can find that co the uh, the translation within the game. But anyway, let's get into it. New game. We'll play it on medium. about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. I don't belong to the party here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. Alright everyone, we're here. It's sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Aegis 7 is a gold mine according to prospectors' reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're going to need to boost the signal if their power's yes, low. Know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. 
Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures a go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tethers damaged. Switch to manual. Now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No! We can make it inside. Corporal, gave you an order. The field's too strong! Okay? What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down, let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to All right. fix. Let's get some extra hands from flight deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. At the time, these graphics were fairly good. Now they're starting to show their age, but I still think they look fairly good. I mean, they are 12-year-old graphics at this point. I just, I love the, uh, this universe. I love a lot of different science fiction. But, uh, this universe is one of my favorites. It's basically, it's got some hard science fiction to it, but it's got a lot of craziness, too. You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. They've got crazy technologies in it, like anti-gravity, which currently we have no reason to believe is real. Power's down everywhere. It holds the record Isaac, for highest get over here and hack the door pad. With 34 to date and highest dead weight of refined products. And Look for blue holograms to activate and counting. The captain and crew would like to welcome you. And we have got a health pack and some credits. But yeah, again, I like the whole thing where they've literally come to break this planet apart to haul all of its resources back to Earth, because Earth is so low on resources. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. They're breaking up entire planets. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. But that security console is still alive. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power. Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Okay, will do. So yeah, there's a little locator gives you a little GPS routing thing. My favorite thing though is the whole interface, the, uh, sorry, the inventory interface, which is literally being projected off of your chest. This is something that, it's a holographic display floating in midair that only you can see. It's just awesome. Okay. Low damage report. I should warn you things are about to get scary. Huh, that doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around is going to be difficult. The air seems to be flowing again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What? Not sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Jesus! Over fire! Over fire! Kendra! Power! Kendra! Come on! Come on! Got it! Isaac! Get the hell out of there! The door's unlocked! Hide! 
We gotta go. Forgotten how terrifying this game can be at times. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. Let's see. Okay. I think we can stomp these things, but maybe not yet. Well, we can go over here though, where we have. The message written in blood of cut off their limbs, and we have a plasma cutter. Okay. We can open. Okay. So now we can open these little lockers. Let's go help this guy. Wow. I'm having trouble aiming. It's going really slow. One second. Like it said, cut off their limbs. <laughs> These are beings called necromorphs. Reanimated tissue. It's a way, it's kind of a zombie game. In a way. Always check behind you. Always. Okay, it looks like there's a crate back in there, but we can't get in there right now. Connect and use health packs to replenish your health bar. Okay. Well, we don't we have, don't need to replenish our health yet, but we now have a health pack. Well, multiple actually. Audio log. Everybody, listen up. They're using the vents. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from you. Get back. Get <laughs> Let's turn down the music a little bit, because I think it might be interrupting with the ability to hear other things. Okay. Alright. Wall locker with some credits. Okay, looks like uh oh. Isaac! Isaac! God, I can't believe you made it. Isaac. <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge. But first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find the coal. Okay. Are these are little vending machines. Okay. These are uh, little vending machines that they got uh, on the ship for, I guess, Sun Cola. But let's take a look around here. So we got the ability to call a tram, but the tram's damaged. 
Uh, we got a save point here. Done. Uh, but what was over here? We didn't really get a chance to look at this. Needs a uh, data board. So then we gotta get the data board to make it so that we can clear a tram. Well, there's a tram on the tracks, so we gotta clear that. We also have to get the data board so that we can uh, basically bring in a new tram to allow them to move past the quarantine. So, let's check these lockers. Got some plasma energy for the plasma cutter we have, and a uh, small med pack. Yeah, there are alternate versions of fire. You can either go across or up and down. I feel like, I don't know, aim seems to be really slow for this right now, and I don't really know why that is. I, I can turn around just just fine, but as soon as I aim, I'm having to scroll quite a bit. Okay, tram tunnel. Let's check out down here, though. <laughs> you saw that shadow, right? That's not dead. It's pretending to be dead. Like I said. Okay. We can save again, but, uh, well, may as well. Alright, let's keep moving. Oop. Oh, it's just those limbs moving about. I always watch the vents as well. Another audio log. This is Benson, Tram Engineering. We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Listen, forget about shooting him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs. Grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut them apart. Okay. Can't go down to the maintenance bay. Let's head around this way. Did I hear a uh, loop sound? No. Must have just been some of the electricity arcing. Yeah, we're on the USG Ishimura that uh, issued a distress call, and we are on the uh, the Kelligan coming out here to fix it. Body just dropped out of the that up there. I always like to uh, dismember the bodies to prevent them from being used. Although that's not an issue at the moment; that'll become an issue for too long. Isaac. Be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. Conserve them by dismembering enemy limbs and doing extra damage. You know it. Okay, tram tunnel. <laughs> I just love this big open interior full of fog. Lovely in terms of how creepy it is. Okay. Thousand credits. I'm not sure how much of the lore of the world to share with you immediately. Or just to experience it. Suffice it to say, the, uh... The Earth is under the government of a single entity known as EarthGov. <laughs> Stasis module. This allows us to slow things down. Like I said. Okay. Uh, you can recharge it. Looks like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis module you just picked up. You can recharge it with stasis packs or find these stasis recharge stations. But... Yeah, this thing would kill us if we tried to walk through it. So we do that. We can walk right through. And then everything else moves in stasis. That's another one of the pieces of not quite hard science fiction. <laughs> I'm a fairly big fan of hard science fiction. But I feel like you gotta have some sort of uh, gimmick to make the story interesting. Like uh, Mass Effect. Another one of my favorite series. With uh, Element Zero. Okay, save station. Okay, let's head down this way. Into the bathroom. Oh. 
Never good when the lights go out. Okay. Got men and women's restrooms in here. Some plasma energy. The stalls are empty. These walls honestly look like they're made out of reinforced concrete. Or just concrete, at least. Like, formed concrete, which is weird. Not sure what that physics collision that isn't working properly is. My guess is it's something uh, to deal with that stasis. 3,000 credits. I think I need to alter the scroll rate. That's better. Always check around all corners. Okay, we're going to need to go down that way, but we'll come over here first to smash this crate. And you actually have part of the Unitology uh, translation guide right here. It says, don't believe the lies. Read what they're really saying. And so you've got, you know, just a direct translation. But some of them are smudged out. But we can still take a look at things here on the wall like this. Uh, let's see if we can't read a little bit of this real quick. So that's K-E-E-P. All right, so that's uh, keep us whole. Unity is forever. So that's just to point it out here. Top line is keep us whole. Next line down is unity is forever. Followed by, uh, what is that one again? Death is only the beginning. So just to give you a sampling of what we're looking at here in terms of the writing on the walls. Okay. Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. Alright, so over here on the wall we've got a uh, power node. You can use these to uh, upgrade your weapon. You can also use them to, active, to access uh, areas that are basically unaccess inaccessible without a power node. So uh, we have to get this damage tram off the track. Uh, and to do that, we have to use these arms. See? Okay. Now, the only issue is that... So this claw is working uh, properly, but the other one is not. And we'll get to that here in just a second. Oh. Never assume that that's the only one that just entered the room. In this case, it was, but... Okay. And now that he smashed that grate, we won't hear it if another one comes in through that grate. Some credits. Health pack. Look at that car engine crash. We managed to get it back to the repair depot, but now the autoloader is fried. I need a stasis module brought down here now. If we don't get this piece of shit off the tracks, it's gonna jam up the whole system. Alright, it's got some uh, plasma energy there. Okay, so this arm is the broken arm. We'll see what it looks like when we don't stasis it. See that? Now, the issue is we have to activate that arm, then come up here and pull the entire thing out with both arms at once. So what we had to do, head over here, hit the button, stasis, run up here, activate it. Retreating damage tram car. Please stand by. Isaac! You did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. Always keep an eye on your surroundings. There's the new tram going on the track. Tram 
assessment complete. Stay away from the vents if at all possible. Just give yourself a little bit of time to fight back if they come immediately out right next to you. Oh. Unfortunately, we cannot kill that thing. Oh, I hate those things. Okay. We are going to uh, save again. Okay, can't go into the cargo room just yet. I think... Okay, we can't go to the tram station over here yet either, so... Let's see what it tells us to go. Actually, yeah, there we go. Yep. Gotta head this way. Let's uh, reload the stasis. Now the fun thing about stasis is you can use it on enemies too. Not just on uh, environmental hazards and things like that. Watch this. There we go. Not quite so bad when they can't sprint at you. Okay, well, inventory's full. And unfortunately we can't increase the size of our inventory just yet, so let's drop a small health pack for this larger one. Okay. There we go. Isaac, I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. The data board should be somewhere inside. Okay. Control room. I think we're heading this way. Yeah. And that is creepy. The body is gone. And there's always the question of where the hell did it just go? an eye on the vents. Huh. Okay, we'll go down. Also, don't assume that the elevators can open in front of you. Isaac, it's Kendra. It looks like the door to the storage room is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the maintenance bay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there they are. There's already at least one, yep. Yeah, two more maybe, already wandering around in here. Oop. Here's something. Although it might just be this thing rattling around. Yeah, you can uh, explode little barrels like I did just there. Whoop. Anybody else? Okay. Keep hearing stuff. <laughs> also, just love like the propaganda po posters of this universe too. I mean, they're not really. A, it's not really a propaganda poster in the traditional sense. It's for this uh, mining company, basically celebrating its miners. Okay. Let's 
keep on moving. Okay, so we have an elevator to crane control, but let's take a full look around before we go up there. Got a locker on the wall and a crate on the ground. Man. Jeez. I mean, I know I'm playing this on medium, not hard, but being just flooded with resources. Of course, I have played this like four times, so I generally am not all that surprised by enemies. Okay, we can't get in there just yet. Did we already shoot this one? I think we did. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, let's get back around to that elevator. I am always hesitant to... To assume that any corpse is actually dead. I'm not falling for that. Okay. A health kit on that wall locker. Credits. Credits, likely you can carry as many of those as you want. Which is why uh, I also tend to sell extra stuff. Oh. Okay, we got uh, a maintenance bay key. And some plasma energy. Okay. And a text log. Oh. Let's see if we can't read that. Alright, here we go. USG Ishimura, Aerospace Air Engineering Department, Shuttle Repairs Invoice, Mission Day 2, Faulty 4 Gyro, Vessel USG ISH 503, Replaced, Now Functional, Mission Day 3, Faulty 4D Scope, Vessel USG ISH 501, Still in Repair, Mission Day 4, Damaged Landing Repulsor, Vessel USG ISH 505, Complete Replacement, Now Functional, Damaged 4 and Left 4 Viewports, Vessel USG ISH 504 replaced now functional. Mission day 5. Damaged booster collar. Vessel IS USG ISH 505 repaired now functional. Engineer's note. Right JF. Second engineer maintenance bay. Okay. It's a lot of shuttle repairs for five days. Okay, let's uh, head down the elevator. There's still one out there. But I don't know. I guess not. Not that, the plasma energy. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's get in here. Never good when there's this much blood in a room, especially not when it's leading to a vent. Okay, locker. Medium med pack already full. Got another power node. Uh, and then right over here we have the uh, data board that we needed.
With that data board, we'll be able to repair the tram system, get them on their way. And ourselves on their on our way as well. Let's see though. Okay, so this is I was just about to say that. We can use this upgrade bench to upgrade our equipment. Now, I'd like to get the plasma cutter to full as quickly as possible, but really, one of the things that really makes the rig so much easier to use is uh, just increasing your air by 20 seconds. I mean, it's a huge difference. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, back out of that. And let's upgrade the damage of the uh, plasma cutter. I generally like to keep one on my person, so that was stupid, because you never know when you're going to come across an inventory room that you can't get into unless you have... That's it, Isaac. Take the board back to tram control and plot it into the computer array. That should get the tram to come back online. Okay, that seems... I think that's it. For the moment, at least. I can't imagine they put those explosive containers there unless... And all three of these vents, unless they intended for them to come to use, but... Okay. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. Tiny health pack. I don't see anybody. Oh, no. This sounded like somebody. I don't trust this. Good thing I didn't. Stasis pack. Well, if I had any room, I'd pick that up. Back up the elevator. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that actually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I saw him sprinting up to the corner there. Okay, let's save. You know, it's funny how fear works in video games, because you're not in any real danger. I mean, I guess it's the same reason that scary movies work doesn't really make any sense, you know, because you're not in any actual danger. Okay, back this way. Oh, no. You just saw that, right? Okay, let's just go through here. Alright, let's get this data board installed. Computer now online. And let's summon a new tram. Shipwide tram system reinitialized. All trams now operational. Tram arriving at flight deck station. Quarantine lifted. All right, we're on board and heading to the bridge. Good work. Strange. The quarantine just lifted. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky for us. Isaac, get back to the Kellyon and prep it for launch. We'll find out what we can from the bridge and meet you there. If we live that long, you're out of your league, Hammond. This is suicide. We're going your to die out here. Your lack of confidence in me is pretty noted, Miss Daniels. But I have a mission to complete, and that's exactly what I am going to do, with or without you. Do we understand each other? Just get us out of here alive. Okay. Let's save and move on. All right, so we got to go back and get the shuttle ready to go. But if you've played any other survival horror games, you probably know that's not exactly how that's going to work out. Got a vent in the ceiling there. Checking behind us. Let's 
It's kind of disturbing how damaged this room is compared to the last time we were in it. That was like, what, 15, 20 minutes ago? Damn. Missed him. But I'm fairly certain we're going to get a chance to meet him again. Yep. Ah! Okay. I was not paying enough attention. I got tunnel vision on that. Okay. Nothing behind us. Let's keep moving. It's just shocking. It didn't actually damage me, which is nice. Okay. Isaac, we made it to the bridge. It's a nightmare up here. No survivors. We're going to try to get the command computer. Wish us luck. All right, let's check this crate. Some more ammo. You're fully loaded. Okay, anything else here? So yeah, that's the uh, corporation that owns the ship, the Concordance Extraction Corporation. They own the USG Ishimura. which is a planet cracker ship. Which, as I was saying before, Earth is so strapped for resources, we're literally destroying entire planets to refine them in space, in the location, and then haul the massive quantity of resources back to Earth. I don't think I even want to know what just made that noise. By the way, that thing being headless would not have stopped it. Okay. Nothing else here in the entire shuttle bay. Of course, we crash landed here, but no other shuttles. Alright, let's check out the ship. Small health pack. Already overly full on those. Let's load this. Oh, jeez. Those are right home. It's the only way off the ship. Kendra. No, Hammond! This changes everything! Just let me think. Can you access the command computer? It's no good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? How? I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Oh. Okay. 
to the tram. Oh, actually, let's save first. Okay. To the tram station. A lot of blood on the floor. Okay, that goes to the tram station. We got a couple openable lockers here on the floor. What's over here? Another bathroom. Jeez. Where is everybody? Here is weird noise. Huh. Oh, large med pack. You can drop another small one for that. By the way, I did use the small med pack after getting burned in that fire for the uh, shuttle. Actually, I've got enough room to pick up both of them. That's nice. Okay. Let's check out the uh, women's side. Yeah. I can't die here. Not yet. I can't read the rest of that. They ate my boy. Dear Altman, we are here. Altman is something that's going to come up before too long again. But, uh... Anyway, let's keep going. Okay. Down the elevator. Okay. Sounds good. So yeah, there's the store. But let's uh, check around in here first. There's always Peng. That's, that's an ad. Uh, Peng, or whatever that's supposed to be, uh, shows up in, I think, all three games, but at least the first two. Bonitica? The World You Never Knew? And yeah. Sun Cola. Okay. Does that say... Uh, I thought we could maybe see something else, but no, it's not readable. Okay. Well, there's the tram. There's another uh, repair bench there, or upgrade bench, I mean. Let's uh, check out the store. Okay, so... Uh, they've got a line gun, which is basically just a wide plasma cutter. But it also can launch uh, mines. Uh, there's the plasma rifle, which, like I said, is a military-grade assault rifle with high rate of fire. But it's not typically very good against uh, the enemies that we've been fighting so far, because the whole idea is cutting off the limbs. This thing fires a bunch of rounds very quickly, but they're not very damaging. Uh, we can get a level 2 suit, which increases inventory slots and armor. And then we can also uh, purchase more plasma energy for the plasma cutter, small med pack. Small air can, that hasn't been an issue just yet, but it will be in the next video. Stasis pack, uh, power node. So what we're going to definitely do here is, uh, well, also we can sell some stuff. And I think what we should sell is uh, one of the medium med packs. And one of the small med packs. Uh, and I know it's kind of crazy to sell med packs in a survival horror game. But as you've seen, we've come across quite a few. Um, let's go back to the shop. If I can, there we go. And upgrade the suit. Always thought this was pretty cool, too. You can see the increased armor on this thing. And like I said, we also have more inventory slots. Uh, let's see. Uh, we could purchase a power node. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to show it, but I'm going to run back and grab whatever uh, health packs and things like that. But So I guess probably should store some stuff in the end. Uh, safe here.
All right, so again, I'm not going to show it. I'm going to go back, grab that stuff, and either sell it or put it in the uh, safe. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I got six small health packs and a stasis pack that I had been able to, unable to carry before. So let's sell that stuff. So that was eight and a half thousand credits that we got just by going back. Um, it's, it's one of those things where <laughs> almost accidentally sold my uh, some plasma energy there, uh, and I'm gonna move some of this stuff back. I was typically leave uh, a large med pack in here just in case I have some sort of massive emergency. Um, but yeah, because we because I we went back and got all that stuff, we uh, now have the ability to purchase another power node. Really, two if we wanted to, but. I also like to keep uh, some uh, credits around just in case. Uh, why don't we... Mm, I don't need the pulse rifle just yet. So, I do, a bit, I do get the pulse rifle. Again, like I said, it's not great against the enemies we've been fighting, but there are enemies that it's good against. Let's take a look down there. So nothing we can see down there. But if we look over here, um, that's the uh, malfunctioning door right there that... Uh, we had to use stasis to get through. So anyway, let's get on this tram. Oop. Gotta go up the ramp. There we go. And uh, take a look around here real quick before we actually hit the button. Not really that much to see. I mean, we got more of these little ads. We got, if you're lonely, you can go to the Solace Center. We've also got flesh, apparently, available May 1st. And uh, light speed carbonated hard bar. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, let's uh, hit the button. We're now heading to the medical uh, bay or whatever it is. It's good that we got that uh, couple of... Shh. Shh. It's alright, McCoy. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> I knew you would come. Just like you said. I, I saved this. For you. Can I go now? <laughs> that went from tragic to comedic and disgusting with those maggots. Uh, again, though. No disrespect, ma'am. But I'm not letting you change. Good lord, look at those physics. Oh, man. Okay, uh... I'm gonna get this body out of here. This is Kinesis. That woman just dropped a Kinesis module. Oh, wow. Honestly, this is fairly terrifying. I mean, comedic and terrifying. Okay. Everything's calm. Okay. That, uh, I mean, this is pretty much going to do it. We need to find a save point, though. So, uh, let's see. We don't need anything from the shop. I thought we can check and see what it has available. Same thing uh, that was available at the last station. So, nothing to see there. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see. What does that say? All right, that's sacrifice is inevitable. Difficult to see, really, and you kind of have to know the symbols pretty well. But, uh, yeah, sacrifice across the top is with those two little symbols right there and inevitable across the bottom. Okay, let's move these crates. All right. 
get through here. Looks like uh, we got a plan. Okay, we got a schematic for a flamethrower. Uh, just to show you what exactly that does, we'll go around here back to the store. Which means that we can now purchase a flamethrower if we so want it. But uh, I do not at the moment, so. Alright, and there's uh, many items that you can get schematics for. In fact, uh, there's a reason that we can't uh, get the suit number three right now. We don't have the schematic for it. Isaac, are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. You have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero G therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a bomb to get through this barricade. Now that's what we're gonna be doing next time. Uh, if you didn't catch that real quick there, and uh, if you didn't catch the uh, thing at the beginning, Isaac here. This is Isaac Clark. It's here to find his wife, Nicole, who was uh, a medical, I mean, a member of the medical team here on the USG Ishimura. And so he volunteered for the mission to come here uh, and respond to the distress call. Got some credits. Okay, but we're going to leave the rest of this stuff for later because we're going to save here. And with that, we're going to call it quits. This has been the Rise of the Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Again, it'll probably be a little while before we come back to Dead Space. But I'll see you in the next Fallout 76 video.